Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today I'm very excited. I'm gonna be reacting to Zero Base One, Good, So Bad, and Cinema Paradise, uh, the album. I'm gonna be reacting to all of the B-sides. Um, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm on my Zero Base One journey on Patreon. <laughs> I have the last episode of Boys Planet to finish this weekend, which is like four hours long, so it's gonna take forever. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna be starting Camp Zero Base One and lots of fun stuff, but I'm very excited to check out this album to see the music video. Um, I know I'm gonna love it, I'm just excited. So anyway, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, check out my Zero Base One playlist for all my previous reactions. And that's it. Let's just get into it. This is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully this doesn't get blocked. Um, I'm not, I did. Okay. So I'm recording this intro after I already reacted to everything and posted it on Patreon, but <laughs> I'm going to cut the um, Yura Yura from the YouTube version so that there's one less song. So maybe I'll be able to post this all as one long video, hopefully. Um, if not, I'll break it up into like part one, part two. But anyway, I'm excited. Let's go. All right, y'all, so this is Zero Base One, Good, So Bad, um, music video. I'm excited. Also, did you see the thumbnail for this music video, sir? Ricky? Expensive. Expen his face card never declined, but also I feel like his credit card also never declined. He just exudes rich <laughs> energy. Um, expensive. So anyway, the harder I struggle to hold on to her the more the pain deepens. I have not been awake that long, I apologize. So reading is still loading. All right, let's go. Just let go of her. When you hear the rhythm, start to move. Oh. Hello, Mr. Howe. Wait, that was too quick. <sighs> Why is it raining? Oh. Wow. Oh. A prince. Look at him. Everyone else has umbrellas. <laughs> yes! He just shows up at their house? Not gonna go on a motorcycle. Okay. <laughs> it's cute. It's a really cute song. Okay. Can you see Tay Ray? Okay, we gotta talk about center Tay Ray. Excuse me. Not the Matthew Bridge. Give Matthew the whole bridge. Wow. 
vocals. Ooh, that just gave me goosebumps. The ad libs in the back. Wait, that's. Don't do that in real life. I'm pretty sure you would get electrocuted. I'm I, I'm not an electrician. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's not a good idea. Also, who is that? <laughs> I don't recognize him. I'm missing something. I don't understand. Hello, Eugene. Oh, hello, Ricky. That wasn't even in the music. That's just a random outtake from the outro when they used it. It's so beautiful. They put it as the thumbnail. The thumbnail. That's honestly iconic, Ricky. <laughs> yeah. That's the thumbnail. Also, I'm not saying they're ageist, okay, but you put the oldest member in the phone booth. All right. <laughs> the phone booths were probably before his time as well. They're kind of before my time also. I've never used a payphone like that before in my entire life. Uh, okay, that was really cute, but I got distracted by Gunung's hair. Oh, I love that. The ombre with the... I, w I didn't even, like, put two and two together. He's in leather on a motorcycle outside of their house picking them. I was distracted by the hair. Very gay. <laughs> Me, not him. Well, I mean, if he wa- <laughs> That's it, okay. That was really cute. I loved that. I can't even compare it to their other title tracks because it's like so different. I will say that this is very mature in like a, um, I don't know. It still has like zero base one energy being bright and cute and very sweet the lyrics the music video is very cute but it also has more of like a mature grown it's just kind of like one of those timeless pretty sweet songs you know what i mean this could end up being my favorite title track because this is the type of song i can listen to all the time i don't always want to like sweat sweat I want to sweat <laughs> like that song. I love that song so much, but I'm not always, you know, I'm not always kind of in the mood for that, I guess. But like this song just sounds pretty and timeless and it just makes you happy. And I've only heard it one time. Also, I can't get over Tay Ray center Tay Ray killing it. Um, but I loved that. Give me just a second. We're going to watch the performance 37. All right, kill the Romeo. I'm excited to hear this album, all of the B-sides. Let's go. Oh, I like the tongue pops. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like that, Eugen. Ooh. <laughs> that note, the slide. 
Ooh. Oh, this performance is going to be crazy. The bop. We had to slow it down and make it sexy. Tay Ray with the bridge. How? I'm going my way. Nice. Nice. I love that little run at the end. It reminds me of, I'm not saying he sounds like this, but it reminds me of like early Britney Spears runs. She liked these little uh, quick, short, like three note runs and it sounds really nice. I'm going my way. That was four notes, but um, okay. That was so fun. And I'm kind of like thinking about the lyrics. <laughs> I think I get it. He's like, hey, Juliet, um, you don't have to die. You could just ditch that Romeo and we could just like run away together. Like you don't have to die for, for that random man. We could just run away together. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting out of it. Um, well, no, because it's like, let's murder him and then run away together. So, <laughs> so uh, anyway, I love that. And I totally understand why they would perform with this song as well, because it's so fun. I love the beat. It also is a great showcase of the vocals. Um, I really like the back and forth. Um, I don't remember. It's definitely Eugen. I think it's Eugen and Gubin. The, the at the beginning the back and forth I really love that um, I like the Cubans rap part too. All right, next up is the C. Um, this is a remake from like a '90s Korean song from a group called Up. I believe I just googled it right before this because I wanted to know because it said remake. So anyway, the C I have not heard the original song, so this will be new. Let's go. <laughs> the face oh, 
was another cute song. It does sound familiar though. I love the harmony. Kind of reminds me of um, <laughs> the Candy song. I don't know who was it. H O T. I know NCT Dream and like a bunch of other people have remade it, but just like the sound and like even some of the instruments, it kind of has like that '90s summer sweet song, um, which is kind of similar to the title track. But uh, yeah, the song sounds familiar. I love the bass line throughout the whole song. Okay. Well, you know, I will be okay if the whole album is like this. If the whole album is kind of like a fun summer, like sweet album, I'll be okay with that. Cause I love summer songs. I love fun, upbeat, dancey music. Um, if they want to throw in a sad bop, I'll be okay with that too. Um, but I really liked that. This is, um, I don't know. It's probably my least favorite so far on the album. But I mean, I, it's not bad. I definitely liked it. I think it was cute. If it came on, I would not skip it. I would just dance and I would smile because it's that type of song. Um, it was cute. I liked it. So anyway, let me know your thoughts. Let's move on to the next song. All right, next up is Insomnia. Ooh, the beat. Oh. 
as sweet. Oh my gosh <laughs> Whew. it's like we didn't get a breathe on that one um that was so good <laughs> are all of their albums this like dancey because i'm trying to think i've only reacted to their very first album with the uh, new kids on the block and that was like obviously their debut i haven't reacted to any of it this is like my first album reaction since that um and all of these songs have been very kind of like fun and sweet, also summery, very dancey. I love the random um, like club beats and like on that song, like the DJ scratching and like the record scratching sound. Um, so far, this would be a no skip for me. It's like super fun. Um, if all of their B-sides are kind of like this album, um, I think a concert, a zero base one concert, I feel like that would be so much fun. Just you would just be dancing the whole time. But anyway, um, let's move on to the next song, which is Road Movie. All right, this is a road movie. I'm wondering if we're going to slow it down a little bit because there's only two songs left. Two songs after this. And the last one is Yura Yura Korean version, which I haven't heard yet. So anyway, Road Movie. Oh. I feel like that's a sample from Everybody oh. Say what? Ooh, Hanbin sounds great. Can we get more rapper Matthew? Ooh. Wow. Not the growl. The abrupt transition. Ooh. You hear the really high note in the back? Oh, 
felt too short um yeah that was kind of aggressive but then like looking at the lyrics it was also very sweet especially towards the end like this is our life this is our road movie we're on the road together like the road of life um every scene we're in is perfect every moment we have together this is like our journey our odyssey that was very sweet the the the, trans, the transition was a little abrupt i gotta get used to that because like the verses are very swaggy and and rappy and aggressive and then it's just like that first time how came in and it was just like boom disney princess <laughs> like the song just completely changed um and then right back to the aggression i i like it it just kind of it was unexpected it took me out that transition um but that was road movie i really enjoyed that we're gonna move on to this is the last b-side i haven't heard yet eternity and then i probably will yeah i'll react to yura yura korean version as well because it's been a minute since i've listened to that song anyway so um this is let me just there we go eternity let's go Oh, his voice is so pretty. Ooh. I've never heard Ji Young sing like that before. Very pretty. Wow. Oh, oh bloom. The deep. The depth. Did you hear that note? This is the prettiest. Together. Wow, that feels like that should be the end of the album. Um, 
this is such a good album. I feel like Yura Yura. That's probably just like a bonus track. I feel like if I was making the track listing, this would be the end. Um, Cause it, it, it makes sense with all of the other songs and it like perfectly ends like the theme of the album. It's very sweet. Ugh, that was, Hmm. I don't want to say it's my favorite on the album because every song is my favorite on the album like right after listening to it. <laughs> but that definitely was the prettiest song on the album. It was very pretty. And the lyrics were very sweet. Um, what is my favorite so far? Because, I mean, I know what Yura Yura sounds like. So, hmm. It's probably Kill the Romeo, Good So Bad, Insomnia, the Sea was cute, too. I liked Road Movie and Eternity. They're all good. But I think I just really liked Kill the Romeo because, I mean, it's just iconic. So this whole album is just like a no skip for me. All of the songs make me either smile or dance or do both at the same time. A little bit of body rolling. Um it was a really good album. So let me know your thoughts on this album. What is your favorite album from Zero Base One? Eventually, I'll have gone through and reacted to all of them. I got to finish Boys Playing It first. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reaction, and I will see you guys later. Bye.